try and slightly limit the power of the new BMW and even up the playing field. Now, I'd like to be able to show you exactly how they've done that, but the, de the measurements involved are so tiny that it's really almost impossible. What they've done is, if you can look here, airflow into the engine goes through a size 30 millimeters wide. That's a little wider than the neck of this water bottle. Now, they've narrowed it on the BMW from 30.4 mil across the whole entrance. Well, what is the difference? The difference is the BMW has lost a little bit of top end speed, a little bit of punch out of the corners, and with the inclines here around Laguna Seca, that has made the battle closer between Porsche and BMW. So much so, in fact, that Sasha Masson's Porsche was fastest in the morning warm up and qualified third. That is the race situation at the moment, but nobody will be drawn on how it will go in the final race at the Petit Le Mans. It could all change again. Watching J.J. Leto with one of those newly more restricted V8 yes. BMWs, Bill, but he's been the class of the field here in the early going. He and his teammate, Frederick Eckblom, running 1-2 in he, GT. He is, and he is driving so well. I think that's a, a large part of it. You see York Muller and J.J. Leto, they're ahead by a little bit, not a huge gap. Sasha Mason and Lucas Luer could easily catch up if they have a strong day today. And based on what Martin has brought out, they did have the quickest lap in warm-up, and right now they're losing ground, but who knows what, what the, the tough place to pass. There's been contact Dick Janssen there at the BMW getting nudged by one of the Cadillacs at the top of the corkscrew. We showed you at the top of the broadcast just how tight. It's third main time. The car immediately in front of him, about 12 seconds in front. York Mueller in car number 42, and he could get a look there at the CGL telemetry in that race car. Yeah, wouldn't you love a street car like oh, a, yeah. that M3 that accelerates like this? <laughs> I would take any M3 to start with, I mean, particularly in California. I think if God made a place for M3s, it's got to be out here around sure. Monterey. Spectacular roads and countryside and great sound to hear the straight cut gears whining. The 42 that you're riding in, 10th overall right now. There's the GT leader, 9th overall, the 43 with Dirk Mueller on board. Such pretty cars, really good looking machines. They have giant brakes on them, yeah. plus that wonderful high horsepower motor. V8 motor in these cars mid-season, they've been restricted a little more. The air restrictors, as we told you at the top of the broadcast, of the three American Le Mans Series races coming up here on NBC Sports next summer. Washington will be back at Mostport in Bowmanville, Ontario, Canada, just outside Toronto in August. And in September, back here at Mazda Raceway, Laguna Seca, Monterey, California. Built my first trip here. It's been a wonderful weekend. This is just a great place to come and watch some of the finest road racing in the world. It is amazing. It's such a famous course, been around forever. They always get giant turnouts. I mean, it, this is our third race in a row that we've done now and seen so many spectators turn up. Families galore. Place is packed. Take a look at the overall running order up at the top of your screen as we watch Dirk Mueller in car number 43. Ninth overall, one of the Schnitzer BMWs leading at GT. His teammate, York Mueller,